everybody, Stephen here. Just wanted to do a very quick video on how to start a WordPress blog through DreamHost. So I hope this is a helpful um, setup. This is what we do in our business. And I just wanted to set it out there. Um, so to start with, you need to, we've purchased the domain and we need to set up the name servers. So they're actually pointing at DreamHost. So this isn't going to be shown in the video, but what you need to do is you should know how to log into the registrar point the domain names at the host. So just so you know, um, just bring up a new a new page for DreamHost, ns1.dreamhost.com, ns2.dreamhost.com, and ns3.dreamhost.com are the name servers that need to be added when, when you're pointing something at DreamHost. So these are the three that need to be put into the name server and saved. As you know, this will take can take anywhere from 10 minutes up to a couple of hours to actually propagate to DreamHost, but this is step one. This will always be the same. So once the name servers from the registrar have been set, we need to open up a new account. So we'll go into Manage Domains um, on the top left here. And we click on this little button called Add Domain or Subdomain. Now for this test, we're just going to use a subdomain. So the subdomain is, is test. 123.enginemarketing.co.nz which is one of our sites. Now what I always say is remove the www um, especially with subdomains you must remove this and leave it at this setting. The next thing is we go down make sure you select the correct user. Now we've got client sites use these ones we may set up new users as you go just for more client sites just so we don't run out of RAM on that user. So for example, if this was a client site, we might select client site 3. We can have a look through users to see how much is being used. That all stays the same. The only other thing we uh, we make sure we've got ticked is both Gmail and Google Apps. These need to be ticked because this starts up some special sections. We type in the word down here, Keech, Swack, it, um, and then we go fully host this domain. We leave it for a couple of seconds. And what will come up with all this information, you'll see the DreamHost stuff. Don't worry about this, you should have already changed this to these settings. So that basically sets up the hosting account and it's, it's, it's pointing at this domain. So we now need to install WordPress. So we go into one-click installs, which is on the top left of the toolbox. We just give it a second to load. And we can load multiple things. Occasionally you may decide to load something different, but we always select advanced mode. Now there are galleries, there's ZenCard, OpenX, Plig, a variety of stuff we can play with, but we're always going to use WordPress 90% of the time. We come down, we now need to select the domain. So we go down to our test, we choose, so test123 at Engine Marketing is what we set up, and we're going to click on the install it for me now. So this is how simple it is to get this done. Now, because we've done a subdomain, this should happen a bit quicker on how this progresses. So we give it a few minutes, a few seconds to install, and it'll say within 10 minutes. Now, this usually is two or three minutes, can be longer, can be less. Um, and we set it up so it goes to here. So as you see, we've already got it coming to DreamHost. We're just waiting for WordPress to install it. Once it's installed, it'll become a standard WordPress installation. Um, that you can set up some direct stuff, so admin and the standardized password you choose, or um, you can actually choose more now and actually select direct names up as the admin. So that is how you set up uh, a WordPress install on DreamHost. Very nice and simple. A couple of automated things I always do as well is is in the actual post name. The first thing I do when I get in and I've logged in is I change the permalink structure. For, for for websites we create. So I change it to slash, uh, you can go into do custom permalink, slash, percentage, postname, percentage, slash. This allows it for a much better uh, setup. I also change or delete the tagline. I make sure we've got the title, and then the tagline can just be empty for now. That's the first setup of any website we do. That is the basics. I hope that helps.